Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman and I am here today doing a quick little instructional video on the best way to remove printing from a Lego piece. Sit back as I tell you a tale of a story of a man who's building a new mock and was all out of size 5 silver CCBS shells. He goes on BrickLink and finds the cheapest ones just happen to have printing all over them. Well, that's no problem for the man because he has this technique. All you have to do is get your printed pieces, get a rag, and get this. Bresso. This is a compound designed to polish and clean like copper and bronze pots. But it also works extremely well for removing printing from Lego pieces. So. All you have to do is take off the cap, get your rag, put a little bit on the rag. Yes, lovely looking stuff, isn't it? Spread it around a little bit, and then we're going to be cleaning this Stormer um, 2.0 armor piece on camera, and the rest I'll do in a sort of time-lapse or cut-up style. We'll see how this goes, but all you have to do is basically just start rubbing the printing off. And the more pressure you put on it, the faster it goes. As you can see, there's already printing starting to come off of this. So as you can see, the printing is already sort of starting to come off there, right right about there, that little bit I've rubbed so far. Now this stuff is extremely good for taking the, the uh, printing off Lego pieces and doing so in a way that does not actually damage the Lego piece in any significant way. I know some, several other people have shown you there's different ways to remove printing from Lego parts, but most of them involve either using harsh chemicals or d sanding or something to remove the, the printing from the Lego piece. This is actually a trick I learned in my uh, Lego clone customization days to remove printing from Lego pieces. So you can use the same Lego pieces to put custom decals on, but once again, this works with all forms of Lego pieces, so it should be no problem. And after you're done with all of this, you just wipe it all off, and it should be good as new. All shiny and ready for use in mocking. So in only a couple seconds, a couple short seconds here. We've basically already cleaned off half this armor shell. It's almost completely off now. You will have to keep reapplying the Brasso though, because it does one use basically wears out pretty quickly. And this stuff is good for a lot of uses. The uh, one thing of Brasso will last you probably your entire Lego career unless you're super keen on removing printing. And it's pretty cheap too. You can get it at you can get it at Walmart or Amazon for probably around five, six, seven dollars. And one, one bottle should last you like a really long time. That's just a little bit of work and we've already cleared off like that whole flat part there. So now I'm going to cut and show you the rest of them when they're done.
Alrighty guys, and that's all you had to do. All I did was, uh, after I was finished cleaning everything off, I just went down to the sink and took a scrub brush and rinsed all the remaining traces of Brasso out from like the crevices and cracks of the uh, armor pieces. And overall, that was much faster and much, um, much faster and safer than using sandpaper or like nail polish or a pencil eraser or any of the other widely known ways of cleaning printing off of Lego pieces. This has been Connor Hoffman for Wombat Combat Pictures. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.